the gangster thing came very quickly because there was so much drugs, you know, so much drugs was consumed that there was so much, some guys making so much money out of it and straight away you had the gangsters coming out. I mean, you have a very big history in England with gangsters, not mafia. In France we have the mafia, like Marseille we have mafia, but in England you have a very big history with gangsters and of course when ecstasy arrived with house music there was so much money involved everybody went crazy and I'm, I mean we were we were living with the gangsters I mean I remember I was staying at Sasha's house all the time in Salford yeah I, I mean you know I remember very well and then one of the guy who was one of the the, the you know he was living there he was one of the main guy from Salford gang he was I mean that guy was mad I mean he's dead now he showed himself but I remember one night he went to Hacienda and then he was on the dance floor and then he, I don't know what happened, he just thought, I'm going to stab the bouncer. So he walked out, stabbed the bouncer and then came back in and started carrying on dancing. I mean, this was a bit mad because these guys were really young and they were doing stupid things, really, really stupid things. It was a bit out of hand and it's true, it's one period where I just thought, I don't want to get involved with this shit. You know, I play music, I truly love what I do, I do it with my heart. And all this money thing or drug thing or gangster shit is not for me. This is not for me. So I kind of left. And then whenever I came back, I saw that Manchester was like diving down and down and down. It was getting really bad. And the club culture really got hurt because of that.